Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have the most delicious sweet and sour Amish style salad dressing that you will ever, ever put in your mouth. This is perfect. You can dress a slaw with it. You can marinate chicken or pork in it. You can just drizzle it on your salad and be very happy all summer long and beyond. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. We're Today we're going to be making a really delicious sweet and sour dressing and I'm going to be using it in another video for a vegetable slaw that will take you all the way through the summer. This slaw is delicious and it starts off with a really wonderful sweet and sour dressing. This really uh, harkens to uh, the Amish. The Amish always do a lot of delicious sweet and sour recipes and this is no exception. I got this recipe from my grandmother who was German through and through and she used to make this all the time. It's very reminiscent of a poppy seed dressing but I have left the poppy seeds out of it and I'm using celery seed instead. So what you're going to need to start off is um, a little under a half a cup of warm water, a cup of vinegar. I'm using white vinegar but you can use apple cider vinegar if you like one cup of neutral oil. This is sunflower oil. You can use what you have on hand, but I don't recommend that you use olive oil because that has a very heavy flavor. You're gonna want to use three quarters of a cup of sugar. This is uh, stevia, and that's what we prefer using now. Um, but if you wanna use granulated sugar, you go right ahead. We're gonna season this up with a teaspoon each, onion powder, garlic powder, celery seed, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and a teaspoon of mustard powder. If you don't have mustard powder, just give it a good squirt of whatever mustard you have on hand, whether it be yellow mustard or Dijon mustard. This is gonna help the emulsion process because we're gonna mix this up in a jar with our immersion blender and make it super creamy and delicious. So. Okay, I've gone ahead and put my sweetener, which is stevia, in the bottom of my container. I'm just going to put all of my dry stuff in the bottom. And then I'll add the warm water. That really just helps to get everything going. Our vinegar. And make sure you do this in a jar or a container that's big enough to accommodate everything because you don't want to get your immersion blender in there and have everything overflowing. We're close, but I think we'll be fine. So when you use your immersion blender, you wanna take it all the way down to the bottom and then we're gonna start pulsing. And then just let it go. And then you can slowly pull it up. run it for about 30 seconds until everything is well blended. Let me get this out of the way. It's good and creamy. It does and it doesn't even have any it doesn't have any mayonnaise in it or anything so that's a plus especially if you're trying to watch yourself um, and watch your fats and all of that. So I'm just going to grab a spoon here and I'll show you. It's got a really nice consistency. It's very light, but we're going to be mixing this into a vegetable slaw and it's just going to make it really delicious. You can adjust the sweetness level here to suit your preference. I might add a little more of my stevia in here just because we want it a little bit sweeter. It's a little heavy on the vinegar, but again, that's a personal preference and you should adjust it to suit your own needs. I'm gonna leave it right where it is right now. I may add a little more of my stevia in when I mix up my slaw. 
and then we'll just call it good. Well, there we have it. This is our sweet and sour salad dressing. My grandmother used to make something very similar to this. Uh, I will tell you that it is very, very sour, very tangy, very heavy on the vinegar. So you will want to make sure that you adjust your vinegar preference thusly. If you don't like things super tangy, I would cut the vinegar in half personally. I haven't made this in a very long time, but I wanted to share it with you. And because I'm making it with sweetener, there are some concessions that have to be made. Now, because I made it with sweetener, it turned out very thin, and I don't mind that so much, but I like that dressing to be a little thicker. So I did add a couple of heaping spoonfuls of instant clear gel, or the ultra gel that I like to use. Um, it's called Cornaby's Ultra Gel, and it's available on Amazon. And I love having that in my kitchen because it's great to thicken up a uh, gravy that won't thicken up, thicken up a stew or a soup. Uh, if you've come to the end of the cooking process and it's just not thick enough for you, it's great because it's instant. You can use it in hot or cold applications. So I put about two tablespoons in my salad dressing and I put the immersion blender back in there. I also added about a half a cup more water um, to suit our taste because it was very, very, very tangy. But now it's perfect. Um, I also did add more sweetener. So um, you guys... Adjust. If you want to adjust it, adjust it. If you like it sweeter and less vinegary, I would add almost a full cup and a half of sweetener and a half a cup of vinegar and then keep the oil and the... the and then you could add water... Um, or take away water. It's, you know, this dressing is very, very forgiving, but it really is just a concept and you can run with that because it's not, there's no wrong. You just make it until it tastes the right way for you. So that's what our grandmothers did. That's what our moms did. And that's what we should know how to do. Uh, when we get into the kitchen and something isn't quite right, we should be able to know how to adjust things to suit our taste and the taste of our family. This is our sweet and sour dressing. I hope you give it a try sometime soon. Keep your eyes open for our sweet and sour slaw video that'll be coming up later in the week. I hope you give it a try. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.